on a night when I was lying in bed on my side. It was late September, but it was hot, humid, and I felt as if I didn't have a connection to my consciousness. In other words, it was separated from me, like I was looking at myself from the perspective of another person who had just realized that the world, my immediate surroundings even, were being dismantled around me. Here's somebody, some schlub going to the grocery store, and he actually thinks for a moment, or two, or two maybe more moments, that the noises that are going on in the next aisle have anything to do with him. What kind of ego <laughs> embraces that notion? Yes. Is that an ego that is similar to God's ego? I was at a grocery store the next day, and I imagined quite readily like it was really happening shelves and products and the people just turning into like the crew of a play dismantling a stage set. Do you think that Leonardo da Vinci would have approved of Marcel Duchamp drawing a mustache on the Mona Lisa? <laughs> and then writing L-H-O-O-Q which in French is like short for she has a hot ass. Someone setting a dinner table suggests the belief in the arrival of the future. Uh, like that uh, time in the grocery store where I felt like they were going to take apart all the shelves and the products and uh, and I felt uh, you know displaced from what was really going on oh yeah I had this weird dream. Debilitating sounds like my own edge. And I thought and worried for a time that it was like having a split mind, you know, schizophrenia, split, schizo, split mind. And the idea that really scared me. Powerful drugs to hold back the sense of figuring it all out. But I'm not schizophrenic, but I may be perpetually gloomy. Yeah! Three thirty-five a.m.
for me lately, I've felt more more aware of that sort of thing. Just um, experiencing when I'm dealing with other people, and I'm I know how I'm feeling inside, and I'm trying to project like everything is. Uh, I'm I'm trying to project myself in a way that's acceptable and um, that's just acceptable but I think on the inside there's a lot of uh, lately there's been a lot of turmoil and so I, I sort of wonder you know if how I said something is if how my if my true feelings were uh, you know exposed during that those conversations or if I really pulled it off like there's no inner turmoil going on. Does that make sense? You mean, are you ever wondering, like, hey, is Betty or whoever you're talking to walking away from me thinking, God, she is just a goddamn mess. I mean, is, is, that, is that what you're thinking? Because I think that all the time. I think that people are thinking about me all the time. Oh, well, that's so cool to know. You know, it's like sort of like you feel like you're exposed. Like, if you... Are you sitting there completely exposed or... You got a great cover going on, so nobody knows what is going on inside. You feel like you're just a, f a mess, but... <laughs> I mean, I think my take is that the Impressionists cracked open the art world, you know, and brought all of the avant-garde yeah. stuff. Yeah. And people were looking at their, 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 their paintings at their first exhibition laughing at them. <laughs> yeah. I was at a grocery store the next day and I found myself walking like vapor up to the counter past the tabloids which looked like advertisements for science fiction novels they were just so weird you know people in show business having their problems talked about like it was normal to hear about Britney Spears shaving your head or Britney Spears having another baby and nobody was saying why are we being told this <coughs> there's so much to be gloomy about so much awfulness in the world pain pleasure all of it fleeting and my honesty about it tends to make people upset because they don't want to hear about gloominess and darkness and the not the pitter-patter of little feet kind of existence but the just the slamming of your shoe down on the pavement that kind of like <coughs> feeling of just wanting to be heard because you feel so god-awful and you want people to understand you want to have a tabloid image of yourself that just like it says that Britney Spears had her second child you want it to be advertised to the world that you feel like shit the drizzler feels like shit I think it was I think it's more of a dream it, you know, uh, that, you know, we're, that we're supposed to be every character in a tale. So... So there's aspects of Snow White in you, but there's aspects of Grumpy in you. <laughs> and Dopey. And Dopey, of course. And Dopey is in there, too. Yeah. Yeah, and the witch. And, and Prince Charming and the witch. and. I think that's the idea, yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting idea.